Alright, so, we are definitely going for the Necromancer. Um, it's, uh, so, but we are going to do a few things to kind of help prepare and hopefully so that way we can survive. Uh, first thing is, I am upgrading uh, the people I'm bringing in as much as I can. Uh, so I'm going to bring Gray and Dismissa for sure. Um, Drake's definitely needs to go in as well. And my healer is kind of stuck being this guy. Um, so <laughs> that's the scary part. Um, Draux does have the battlefield medicine, and we are going to take over here. We're going to look at some gold. I don't need anything in there. Um, upgrades. Uh, we are going to upgrade their skills as well. Um, so... We are definitely going to upgrade his smite. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. Bring stunning blow. Bring the, Get the heal for it. And then we already got dismiss up a little bit, but pistol shot is going to be necessary. Um, should I bring... I don't really need open vein... Um, grape shot blast would increase the ex ex accuracy. Um, still lower damage mod. Um, crit chance increase of receiving is up five percent. So that's pretty good. Um, there is a lot of AOE. Um, I don't know if grape shot is going to be worth it. It may actually be better to take the uh, uh, tracking shot. Um, it gives me a twelve percent bonus for accuracy, crit, and twelve percent damage. I think this is this buff would actually be really helpful against the boss so i'm going to take that um so i'm taking those four skills um don't need this i can't upgrade this at all unfortunately so he is a noob going against a necro apprentice necromancer i may want to take this just to make sure i have that uh does buff up your torch too but 20 super super percent versus 20 i don't even i don't think it's really worth because i really don't use this skill that often um it's inspiring cry is just not that great either so i think i, I think i'm happy with those for now i don't want to waste too much gold um yeah these are the skills i'm going in with so let's make sure we take them we don't want this one. Uh, dismiss. These are good. I'm going to take care of Open Vein. Uh, Necromancer does not bleed. I believe he's a skeleton. Um, these are good. I mean, that's, just, that's all I can do. I probably should have kept the level 1 guy just because I could have upgraded him better. But we'll deal with that later. Um, Alright. So, we're going to go... All right, so we are. I'm gonna, I didn't even look at the other stuff though. Like, there's a lot of good skills, but it's, at the end of the day, I, I the damage buff and then this plus ten accuracy ring with the crit um, does loot and reduce dodge. But uh, I mean, that can go on like the Crusader or somebody, one of my tanks. Um, it's or honestly, I'll probably put that. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. But it's really worth the ring. To, it's it's worth the risk in my opinion. Um, so, uh, we are going to check our trinkets, uh, so we need to make sure that people are geared up. So, we don't need bleed skill check on him. Um. I'm going to equip all the trinkets to make sure. So, we are going to put protection against him. And plus 15 dodge of torches above. That's pretty good. Um, minus 10 stress, plus 10 virtue chance if he does stress the hell out. Speed's already a minus 2, though. He's gonna probably go, like... I think giving him this dodge might be good, but we'll see. Uh, let's look at Dismas. So, I took away the bleach uh, chance. Um, so... So the 7 crit is still really good for him, um, but otherwise I think having this extra dodge is going to be even better. Um, this guy, I'm actually going to put the Virtue Stones on him, uh, purely because uh, he is probably going to be this one to stress out. Um, and then we're going to put this right here as well. And finally we got a 15% Blight chance, we really are going to need that. Uh, stun Resist. 
don't think stun resist i mean it might come in handy but i don't know if it's worth the dodge or not but we'll try that i think this is good um these are the best trinkets i can get right now um so we are definitely gonna go with those and uh, yeah let's do it yolo so if I'm bringing you guys to the runes for like the sixth time, at least this way you'll get to fight, see the fight, boss fight. Um, and we are going to bring a little bit more food than normal, just in case we need that extra healing. Uh, we're going to bring three shovels. Uh, we're going to bring in a couple of poisons. Like we, this one we are actually going to want to. Uh, we're going to want to make sure we're going to bring extra bandages because of the cultists will heat with his heal. We're going to bring three of those. Let's bring two keys. Oops, we don't need that much holy water, and then. This is a medium. Um, I think I still think twelve torches is fine. Uh, yeah. Now we're going in here. The way I do boss fights, I go in here purely for the boss. Nothing else matters. The boss needs to go down first. So I'm gonna. I'm hoping I get a lot of scouting areas, which is why you want the extra torches. Um, you. Uh, I, I really am just doing my best to figure out get to the boss as quick as possible, rest before, so that way I can get extra buffs. And I don't really care about the carryos as much. Um, if it's it's not worth the risk, in my opinion, um, unless it's something I I can guarantee. Only the mad or the desperate go in. Mad or the desperate go looking for it. So, all right, this kind of sucks because I have to make a choice. Statistically speaking, the boss is in the furthest room. Um, usually, I could be I could go through this entire part here and down here, and the boss could have been here the entire time. And if that happens, that sucks, and we'll figure it out. Um, but we're gonna go. We're gonna the higher chance. We have the higher chance of the boss being over here than over there. And since there's a room battle right here, all right. So this guy's new. The madman. I fucking hate. Um, he scares the whole party. And then obviously this little tempting goblet man is annoying as well. Dodge. All right. The entire party was faster, so that's kind of annoying. Um, we are going to try and kill this guy. That was, uh, I didn't expect to kill him. That was max damage. Um, he's already dead, so I'd rather deal with the stress dealer. So let's poison him. Sacrificial stab. He is a human, unholy. Um... Alright, so he's going to die at least on his turn not going to die on his turn because that would be too good. Bleed. He moves up because he's bleeding. Nice crit. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Stun him. Get some heals now. Because the blade is going to kill him. Um, let's go here. Heal for five. That's like I said. That's normal. That's what I expect out of a heal for that. We've been getting really lucky with it. All right, got an extra key. That's kind of nice. Um, Wealth beyond gold. Measure. Not a big deal. Awarded to the All right, this is the battle room though. We're gonna pop a torch because I want to. I, I'm do, I'm gonna try and do this as safely as I can because I'm really at a disadvantage right now without with well without, without a vestal healer. It sucks I'm not surprising these guys right now, um, and this extra stress is going to be terrifying, but we are going to blind them, and they're both going to dodge because like is, life is fun. Uh, stressful incantation, zero damage, and that's really because of this uh, protection. Um, Eldric El Artillery, we're going to bump these back, this back line, so I might go for Plague Grenade next after that. Um, I may not go for Plague Grenade anymore. Um, he's going to attack next, so we're going to stun him. No, more. he's not going to get stunned because life is fun. But he's going to get crit. Sweet! Alright. So another reason why I went for the stun too, not only was he going to attack next, um, so it would have reduced the damage, but because I can point blank shot with this guy. Um, I was hoping it would kill him, but not quite enough. Uh, we are going to play Grenade Homeboy here, and that should kill him on his next turn for 4 damage. Yeah, perfect. That worked out literally perfectly. 
So, I know he's going to die. He's going to get another attack, likely. I, I can choose to make the kill, or I can heal up. Um, with weird reconstruction, I am going to choose to heal, because I do feel like it's going to be... Like, it's more randomized, and I wanted to make sure I capped it out. You want to heal roughly when about like when your guy's around 50% with that one. Because it's so hit or miss. And luckily, I, he uh, missed his attack, so I can actually do that. Dodge. It's a buff. He dies from that. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Sarcophagus is completely empty. What? Nope. No books. Books are bad. Bugs! Alright, these things are kind of annoying, but thankfully they're pretty weak. Um, this is one of the few times that like three grape shot thing would actually work out really well. Um, but since it doesn't, we're going to kill this thing. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Um, see, I wish he would have gone first because I could have probably double killed him, but you have to hit in order to kill him. Uh, we're going to stun this. Okay, we're not going to stun it. Um, so, <laughs> we're hopefully going to kill at least one. Another there we go. Balls. When you miss everything, um, well, now you guys kind of see why I'm willing to make that risk for that ring. Grave nibble. Ah. That will kill it, so let's heal up this guy. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Alright, pretty good. I'm going in hoping to scout more. I'm only scouting one room at a time, which is kind of a problem. Hunger check. Ooh, check. Alright, um, 100%, 50%. So, Plague Doctor has a 70%. I'm willing to make the risk for that, um, just to help reduce that stress. Um, we're gonna go into this room, add a torch twice, because again, I want to scout. I want to know right away if I'm going down the right path. I'm going with my gut and assuming it, the boss is right here. So I'm not going to bother with that yet. See? Uh, treasure. So this is Jade is worth more than these citrines. And uh, we might as well use a key. We have three of them. Uh, gold is good. Not enough. We can't carry enough of it. Um, I'm going to bet that I find more gold than more jades. Alright, bugs! Alright, spider bugs. Um, so, I'm pretty... C so the web one... So here, like... The way web works um, is a little bit scary. Because it can stun, it marks, and then I... It, I know it debuffs too. Last time it did a... Uh, la but it does less damage. So I, I'm actually okay with them webbing me more than I am with uh, other stuff. Wow, dude, come on. Our artillery. Gonna do that. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Back to the pit. So he should. This one should. Oh, this one's gonna bite. But the next one, the orange one, should sh web. And I want to confirm that it doesn't stress the entire party or not. Okay. So it's just a debuff and it's less damage. So I'm totally fine with them webbing. I do feel like the green ones are the bigger threat. Uh, because they will only bite, and then when they bite you, they do the mean little nasty thing. So his veins are on fire. He's going to heal himself. I'm going to have my Plague Doctor heal the extra, the Blight. And then one of my other guys should be able to kill this. Okay. So I have almost a full health party now. That's still good. Um, I don't even need the shield anymore.
Ah, okay, cool. And there's a, there's a secret door over there. Okay, I was right. The boss is over that way. Um, let's go to the secret door really quick. Alright, so you guys are going to see some really cool... Like, again, I, I don't really go in here looking for extra treasures, but these are fucking great. Um, so this is going to be... This item right here, they are usually found with those chests. Um, and so Baratheon's hen had... I think that's like the... I, I'm pretty sure you consistently get this for like your first one. Um, but 25% protection. Um, so he is at a 45% protection rate right now. He takes extra stress damage, a lot of it, 20%, um, but it's still really good. And these nasty little things are worth 3,500 gold each, uh, so that is uh, pretty good, and I'm going to get rid of those sapphires because of that. I doubt I'm going to find another sapphire, so it's not worth getting rid of the gold. Yeah, um, way, way, way better. So I am going to make my room over here. We're going to have this room battle. Um, let's pop a torch to make sure. All right. So let's repost. Um, I have a chance of killing this guy, um, but I am going to stun him next anyway, so we're going to go here. Oh, sweet. Um, so, Plague Doctor, we're going to stun. Good. Nice to turn. Accusation. Stress stuff. Oh, horror. Alright, so this is the first time I actually had this horror. Um, yeah, it's bad. Um, I don't like horror. Um, it adds more stress every round. It's basically a dot for stress level. So, three stress per round. So, he's going to end up having 12 stress total from this whole thing. Masterfully executed. Four damage. That's 95. So I'm actually so right here. The smite does more damage, nine to 17, but its accuracy is only 90. Whereas my stunning blow is five to nine damage, but 95% accuracy. If I hit, it's gonna die. So I'm I'm going to go with the higher accuracy. Um, we are going to slash at him. This guy. He's stunned. I'm gonna go for this one. Now, I took that uh, extra shot um, towards this guy because I knew that this guy wasn't going to die this turn. Or was uh, was stunned, so he wouldn't get to react. And I was hoping my Plague Doctor would be able to kill him off. Um, one, because it'll give him a stress like It usually gives him a little stress bonus if they do hit uh, or kill him with a crit or something. Um, but that, that's... like I, I, uh, I, I wanted to buff the Archer so that way he can guarantee that kill too. Nice crit. Okay. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. It's a lot of gold. Um, I will always tank take those over gold. You can always get more gold. Um, I don't think I'll need any more keys. I already found a good one. So I'll take that. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. If only Our treasure goal. could staunch the exactly enough otherworldly corruption. All right, so we are going to camp here. We're going to feast, get our team healed, buffed. Rats in a maze. Um, we are going to buff him. Get a nice buff for the speech. So, I'm actually going to take the gamble and say I'm not going to get ambushed. Um, purely because I want to make sure that when my team is buffed, um, that and then this guy is going to clean guns so I'm taking a risk 
and hoping I don't get into a dark ambush. Um, but it was worth it. To get these extra damage buffs is a lot more important, I feel like. So we're t I don't know what the percentage, and of course I get ambushed. I don't remember what the pan- uh, it's not the worst ambush, at least. So my guys are all surprised, but, uh... Bit. Oof! Come on! That's not good. Uh, Noxious Blast, we're gonna do that. Oh, that was dumb. I shouldn't have done that one. You always, you should have done this, I should have done the second, because this guy's gonna point blank shot and kill it anyway. So that was kind of a waste. Um, and now my actual apprentice guy is over there. Alright, this is turning into a bad, bad situation. Uh, we're going to point blank shot again. Good crit. So hopefully Darius is fast enough. Yeah, cool. Alright, so that could have been a lot better. Um... Still, were I didn't take that much damage, and these guys are going to heal, so that way they take less damage. We are going to heal up a little bit. Gonna heal up a little bit. And we'll try and heal up a little bit more when we get to the door. Not taking any risks right now. We're fighting. We're, we have a mission. We're here for the boss. We are here for the boss. We don't want to take any unnecessary risks. Got gold. Um, we are going to torch up as much as we can. Um, there's really nothing. I mean, like I could play this if I want. If I want to make sure that hey, they aren't applying. But I don't think the boss steals any actual bad damage stuff. So we're gonna just going in. All right. So the necromancer apprentice. Um, that's really bad that he got to do that for he got he got to go first. All right, so right off the bat, um, we are he is an Eldrick, so actually I didn't realize that. So a sacrificial step will do extra damage. Um, so we're gonna slash at him. We are going to repost. He's in line for that. We are going to Noxious Blast, and the, that's, the Plague Doctor is amazing against bosses, because just being able to consistently stack Blight will be really good. Um, and this should kill the Bone Soldier. He's going to bring him back, but I'd rather him use his turn to bring him back than, uh, than to uh, uh, attack us. No. You guys got to do that. So he's going to attack us and then summon an extra one. Good repost. We are focusing heavily on this this guy right now. Nice crit. See, that's that is right there because of that uh, um, because of the extra um, um, skill. Um, shoot the because we camped, it did a lot more. Getting him more bad guys, it's getting a lot harder to hit him, but honestly, like, I think he's dead. Like, he's at 10 health already, and he's going to take 10, so we did it. Um, so, let's throw a poison at him. He's going to heal him up a little bit. It's a like graveyard slash. And Necromancer's dead. Uh, when the boss dies, all the adds do die along with it. And ooh, 20% damage. These are pretty cool charms. Right, so, we have an option now. We can continue exploring, which I really don't want to hike all the way back over that way. Just to do that. Um, but, uh, or we can go back. But we're going to go back and uh, 
claim our victory. That was actually a pretty good run. Um, the crits really helped. We hit like two or three crits. Got some good gold. $1,100. Woo! Monies! Alright. Still no deeds. We need more deeds. But um, that ring, I'm excited to use that ring. It's really good. Um, we just gotta figure out who I want to put it on next. Um, Dismas are, is level 3. We won't be able to use him for a little bit, um, which is fine. We can start leveling up our other guys, too. Uh, weapon Tinkerer, 20% upgrade on weapon cost, so we'll be able to upgrade him a little bit easier, or for a little bit cheaper. An and we get a free armor upgrade as well, so I like to use my armor upgrades and stuff for people who are my high, not my highest level characters, basically. So I can't actually upgrade him yet with, it, with the free upgrade, though, unless I get 20 more deeds. Kind of worth going for that, I think. I don't know. Let's see. Stagecoach. Ooh, the Jester. And, uh, so, Seeker. This guy's pretty good, too. Um, what's my... I need Deeds here, too. Structure, level 2. Weapon Mastering, level 2. Respecting, level 2. What did I use all my Deeds on before? Did I not? I... I get a free upgrade, uh, maybe on him? I don't think, I think he's... Yeah, so what I'm going to do to make sure I get to utilize that free upgrade is I am going to exchange out to get my 20 notes. I really just don't use that much bus, that many busts. And we are gonna get our upgrade free and He's going to be going in next again, so we're actually going to, uh, I guess we don't need to upgrade him yet. We're going to just put in that. Get Dismiss level 3. And um, I think this is where, so we'll grab a few extra guys from the Stagecoach. Um, this Occultus. This is actually the perfect ones that I, stats that I like, but he's got Rune Tactician. This is actually a really good Occultus. Um, I, I really do like this, but I'm going to actually... I, I think Daryl's kind of earned his spot. He did pretty good. Uh, why is this... Why is that, oh, for the trinket. I gotcha. So, we'll figure out what we want to do for the next run. Uh, but again, thank you guys for watching. You got to see the, the boss fight. Um, just focus on that damage. Take down the boss as quickly as you can. Get some add on, adds on them and stun when you can. Uh, but thank you guys for watching this. If you guys want to keep seeing, then continue, subscribe, like, all my fun stuff. Thank you so much.